Oh. Welcome to Incredible Tiny Homes, where your dreams come true. That was wrong. Stupid. What was it? Down low. Hey, tonight is Wednesday Night Tech Night here at Incredible Tiny Homes, the place where you can own a home for $25,000 or, where's my checklist? I mean, my price list. You're here. $25,000. This is a custom home. Okay? Starting at $25,000. And you could come to our workshop and start at 18. Yeah, I gotta have that 440. That buys my lunch. 18440. Where can you do that? Anywhere in the United States. Like I'm gonna show you out here. If you're a first-time viewer, I'm gonna show you how you can get a tiny home for 25 grand. Or if you come and stay at our workshop for six days, six days, you guys can walk away with $18,440 for a house. Where can you do that? I mean, you can't even buy a kit from some guy in Illinois. You can't even buy a kit and he'll ship it to your house undone and you got to assemble it. You can't get it just for that price, just the materials alone. How do we do it in Incredible? Well, we can do it because we know how to help you. We know how to buy materials. We know how to put it together. And we know what it takes to build these. All right? So, welcome tonight to our tech night. Every Wednesday night, we try to do a tech night. We try to show you what we're building, how we're building. And I'm gonna show you around our little factory we got here. We have a 70,000 square foot building. That's 70, let's see, seven zero comma zero zero zero. 70,000, all right? Tell me what tiny home company's got a bigger warehouse than that, and I'll come and eat your lunch, long as it's not liver. Over here's Victoria. Hi, Hi Victoria. Guys. Victoria's working, she works, uh, coming on and working for our, our um, doing all our bookkeeping getting us in line with all of our record keeping, bookkeeping, and numbers and all that, which has got into that. <clears throat> As you know, I started out by myself in the backyard about over two years ago now, and I think we built, we were trying to keep track, we're going to have to find out how many we built, but I think we're close to 83, 84 homes. This next workshop, we'll be up to 87, we got three more customs that just came in and three after that. So. We'll be hitting 90, I'm hoping, before, before long. And, and so <clears throat> we're excited about where we're going. We're ready to build 10 a month if we can. So we've got a great team. I'd like to introduce you to the team with the Ever, but they always run when the camera comes on. So, But I want to show you around tonight. I'm going to show you some technical information. First, I want to talk about is the festival we went to down to Dalton. We went down to Dalton last weekend, and <clears throat> it was a great work turnout. Let me get some water here. And... Um, what we did is we took our Highland home with the thatch roof, and it, and it was awesome. I mean, what I liked about it the best is that there was an architect, there was an engineer, there was a couple builders, of course, a lot of craftsmen and handymen couldn't find a thing wrong with it. They couldn't find zero. Believe me, when you go to a show and you put your house out there, you're going to get picked to death. I picked the other guys to death, all right? So... But there was several other home builders there, and we got to talk a little bit. But I was so proud to have that house. Um, Amanda and, and, um, and Alyssa decorated it, beautiful, um, looked great, and it was able to debut. We had brochures, we had flyers, we had all of our information, and we learned that was our first really show that we ever had. Um, so we know what we're going to do. We'll be in Decatur this coming weekend. I went to those two shows, Dalton to Decatur, to promote our fall jamboree that we're having down here in Bybee or Newport, Tennessee, which goes to, as you can see on our website, we have a disclaimer. Because we're calling ours a jamboree, we do not want to get it confused with the jamboree going down in Arlington, Texas. We got a letter from them and said, you can't call it a jamboree because there's a confliction of, of dates and name. Okay? So we're looking into that situation right now, and if, if it's something that we need to change, I don't care to change our name from the fall jamboree. I hate to do that because there's some big dogs. They're out in their headquarters in the UK and they put expeditions on all over the world. I'm just a little guy. We'll be lucky we only sold 200 tickets. We're hoping you guys will come and see us, but they're wanting us to change our name. So I just want to tell them we have no way, there's no way in us we ever want to infringe on their ticket sales or the amount of 72,000 people they have coming to their show. We got 200. But they, got us a, they gave us a personal call and a letter and said we need to back down. We're looking into it. We have some professionals looking into it for us, which is so unique 
and in, in our in our uh, realm of <clears throat> people that we know. So uh, by tomorrow, we'll have some answers of what we need to do. But thank you so much for even considering our jamboree. We're going there because we want to have you as a family come. Our jamboree, I call it the jamboree because it's festive. Jamboree to me thinks of being outside, and it's just uh, like the scouts. I was in the scouts. We had a big scout jamboree back when I was a boy. And man, it was just camping, it was cooking. We hung out for a couple, three days, and it was fun. And that's the only reason I called it. If you come to our land, it's gorgeous. And our festival, we're gonna have, we're gonna have, um, we were just counting, I was talking to Tom. We have, I think, 12 to 15 homes will be on display. Think about it. Those are all our houses, all incredible. No competitors, nothing. You tell me what builder out there, even even the top name guys, Tumbleweed or whatever they always use them because they're the top dogs. They can't hear me because they've got a great business going. But <clears throat> do they have a, a a festival jamboree, whatever you want to call it? Do they have one with 15 homes or more of all their own homes? They might. I'm not internet enough, internet enough to know, but I think it's a real rare thing to have them. So you'll have people living in these houses that you can talk to. You have people that are um, um, touring them, that built them, homeowners that put their hammer to it. We've got several here that are going to be building and leaving their homes here. we got people coming in from out of state that want to bring their homes on our community. Okay? God, so much talk about our community. It's $200 a month. Come and stay. I don't do short videos on Wednesday night because, or Fridays because, or Saturdays because you guys want so much to talk about and we got so much to tell you. Um, but we are doing our marketing videos that are shorter. Like we do have our Jamboree video is 90 seconds. And we appreciate you guys passing that along and sharing that with who you can. You can register online for a free house. At the Jamboree, we'll be building one on Friday. We'll start on Sunday noon. We'll be giving it away. Register free online. No purchase necessary to win the house. The only thing we ask you to do is you have to be there Sunday to claim the house. And you don't have to buy a ticket to walk in to go claim it. But you need to be in Tennessee and you need to be in Newport down on Highway 160 to claim all noon, at noon, okay? So if you're out in the parking lot waiting for your name to be hauling off, we'll have a big loudspeaker and saying, hey, this is who's won the house. And we will let you come back in there and grab it, all right? So that's how we work in the Jamboree. We're going to have off-grid. We're going to have our water reclamation system. We're going to have tiny homes to tour. We're going to have food. We're going to have vendors. <clears throat> We're going to have lectures every hour on the hour. We've got five, six lectures talking about all those things, talking about RVIA, talking about insurance, talking about codes and restrictions. We're also going to have Lily there. She probably doesn't, she doesn't know this, but she's going to be there. I'll be there and maybe a couple other people helping you draw your homes up. Free floor plans. Sit down with us, we'll walk through your house, give you a price. Free floor plans, okay? So you, while you're there, we'll be helping you out on your floor plans. Saturday night, a big bonfire, it's called the Freedom Fire. And that's what we're gonna do. We called it, they had, uh, what, Amanda and I were coming back and the lady had called in, I thought it was a good name, we're gonna call it Freedom Fire. And the Freedom Fire is we're gonna have a big bonfire and kiss goodbye, a lot of things in our past, I think it's gonna be a good celebration that night. And then Sunday, we're gonna get up and we're gonna have a great day and picking up the winner of the tiny home. You can actually help build the tiny home on that weekend also. So pitch in, come on, hang out. Don't come for a couple hours and leave. Come to stay the night. Come and stay and spend the night with us, camping, local hotels, wherever you can, all right? What's wrong? Nothing. You went, you went to sleep. No, I didn't. I'm reading from Travis over here. What, any questions? Let's see here. Travis wanted to know how you can get the um, incredible tiny homes jamboree confused confused with the Texas tiny home <coughs> jamboree. And uh, Kiwi said, "Don't back down, Randy." Oh, you know what? I won't. I won't back down. But I want to do what's right. And if it's wrong to do that, I will because I don't want to be doing something that's against the law. But then again, the law is to be interpreted. OJ's innocent, right? OJ was innocent. We all know what the lawyers can do. So, even though you think you're right, you're never right until the anvil's hammered on the desk, right? So, anyway, um, we're just small potatoes. This is the way I operate, everybody. And I've told everybody here. I have a 95 Nissan pickup out there. 
and I got a piece of foam that I lay down inside there. So, if Reed Expeditions wants anything of me, I don't have anything to take. This is Alyssa's computer. That's Victoria's computer. That Oh, I did buy some tools today. They can come and get this. I got DeWalt tools. Kiwi, you know what? I was in there helping Homer do some plumbing. And I got so max, I couldn't find the tool. So I'm now got my own. I got my own tools. This was $529, and they gave me a 10% discount at Lowe's because they love us so much. They love all this stuff. I'm going to want to donate tools. So finally, I got my own stuff. I'm charging up my batteries. See my DeWalt? Well, this is just like gold to us. I got my screwdriver. So they could come and get that. But listen, I don't have anything. I don't have any stocks, bonds, savings, checking accounts, nothing. It's all in the company. The company hasn't got anything. I don't own the building. I don't own any of this. I don't own none of this. This is all belongs to the guy that I rent the, house, the building from. You can have a bunk room, a bunch of scrap lumber in there. I got a refrigerator I got for 50 bucks and my stove was 30. Remember Kiwi, you were cooking on it, remember? He wouldn't let us wash our hands in the kitchen sink. He's from like New Zealand. He's had a thing about not washing things where you eat. Victoria, I'll see you. We'll come back. Look here. This is our new office. It's scrap lumber, plywood ceilings. We still got insulated a little bit. Um, this is John's doing our inventory. He does all our inventory. We're actually uh, getting things from overseas now. So we're shipping in a lot of stuff. We're getting really good, good prices. As you can tell, two years now. I haven't went up on my price. Now you say I sold my first one for 20, now I'm at 25, but we've added so much better, new, well it's newer materials instead of reclaimed materials, drop axles, jacks, ringlets, and a storage container on the front. Um, so much more, right, for that price. We don't want to go up. Lily's doing her drawings, you can see her working. She's doing CAD drawings for all the customers. Over here is where Brian stays. Brian works, he's gone, he just went home, he's been working late every night. But this is where Brian is. He's got his own office in here too. Brian bought all this stuff off of, uh, I think, Facebook or uh, Craigslist. And bought all this, we still got more office stuff. He's great, bought it all for like 150 bucks, you know? That's what we're about. And they got water here for their future coffee maker. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Come on. This is all the Penny stuff. Penny's been here a couple months, and this is all the stuff that she brought down from Indiana. Her house is being built. She's building it herself. Okay? We're giving her some time to build it. She's been fortunate that we've had that, this lull, that, not a lull, but a, an opportunity for that, which is passed. Um, she'll be the last one to be able to do that, but it's worked out great for her. And we're growing, so. Um, but she's got some really nice things here that'll be heading out into her home, and she's excited about. It. I'm excited about getting her on the property. You gotta keep your cool in there, man. <laughs> I want two cheeseburgers, John. Yeah, really? <laughs> so does everyone else. <laughs> Look what we did. Lowe's. Every time we spend a thousand dollars, Lowe's gives us one of those racks, right? So, Loppy, there's your stuff. Emma, there's Con. Stromberg, Bonaway, Marsac, Vanelli, Carsadian, Cook, Cramp, Flush. That's it. And we got nine more on the floor. Ain't that something else? I mean, my gosh. Look out, everybody. And we're wired and plumbed perfectly. You know, we're up the code. We are changing the wire inside our warehouse. We didn't know if we'd make it in business. So we just strung wires everywhere. So now we're in the process of rewiring the warehouse for the owner of the building, because they give us a good deal on the rent. Over here is where we're building, we have a bench, is where we're building all our water systems. Right here is our pumps and switches and wires, all this stuff, and here's our pumps, as you can see, and filters, and we're training a young guy to assemble these things for us. Remember, this is tech night. I got this compressor running, so it's gonna be loud right here in a second. Here's our Ikea sinks. We got little sinks. We got the big sinks here. Um, there's some of our, this is excess inventory that we acquire. So when we order your home, sometimes we'll have extra boxes of nails. You may get an extra here that people don't want certain things in their homes. They may change their mind, and so we acquire some of these. And that's our, that's all the excess extra we have in inventory. Everybody 
everybody's gone for the uh, shop. Look at, look at, look at my hair. It's like I was born with two cow legs, you know, and I'm trying to be pretty. And look at it, just like it stick up. Everybody's talking about it sticking up. Isn't that question? Question, uh, Mr. Randy Jones. Yes, sir. From Amanda, ma'am. Um, she's over there at the property and she wants to know where the mower key is. Probably in his pocket. We hit it. So you need to pull out your phone and tell her where it is. I can't remember when we hit it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. I can't think of it. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. I remember her and I talked about it. Yeah. Wow. This is Heidi's house. I'll think. I'll be thinking about it as we're going. <laughs> 26 foot fifth wheel with an 8 foot fish. Just a quick layout. This is her kitchen right here. That's gonna be her bathroom back there. And we'll show you more. She's got a big old plastic uh, trough for a tub. Alright. She's our first one ever to use plywood. Now this is not plywood, this is quarter-inch nuon all over the walls instead of the the uh, the T and G boards. And this is nuon. She actually got this tape, which I thought is gorgeous. Look how well that it uh, is the color. Isn't that cool? Get a close up on that. So, are you scared of it? No, I was trying to get where the light went and blind everybody. Yeah, that's Don't tape. Talk to me. Mm, you're gonna be nasty. Susan wants to know will you still use reclaim supplies if the customer wants? Oh, yeah. I got a ton of them. I would love them. We get them all the time if people want them, you know. Um, now, these are still reclaimed boards right here. See underneath there? Let me turn this thing. Or up, that works too. <laughs> yeah. These are reclaimed boards right here. And most of these one buys that she painted are really from our scrap. We keep all of our scrap from longer boards, and so she's been using these for trim. Yep. All of our framing members are store bought. They're they're brand new. All of our two befores headers and everything. You'll show these guys. They're actually framing tonight. Just run over there and check them out. Okay. Good? Yeah. Me and the cord didn't get along. God, I can't remember where that key's at. Oh, Lord. La. Ugh. Foot workshop coming up next weekend. We'll be in Decatur this weekend. Here's a 24, here's a 20. Jack, this is your house. Some more should put it together. The other two will start tomorrow. We'll get them going. I don't want to turn the radio down, but he's got it. That's Blake, and the boy with the beard's my son. Good. And then we're getting the corners, we're getting the centers, we're getting all the stuff pre cut. Nice. Yeah. Right, then we gotta get it to the wrap. I'll get you on that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yep. Awesome. And that's what helps us train better. You get all the all of it cut up, and we just put it together. Heck yeah. That's Good. awesome.
Local company, but he comes here at need in the evening, yeah. and he's wanting to learn how to build tiny homes, and, and uh, we're glad he's here. Right? Yeah, it's been awesome. It's a good place, great place. Oh, uh, thank you, buddy. Yeah. Yep. Come here. I'm coming. He came here looking around, and yes, some rain matter, so I told him, come on. <laughs> Stay there, I'll show you. Oh good. Here's our here's our lug our uh, tie downs. This goes on there, lag on, bolted to the frame of the of the trailer. This is three quarter inch TNG Bantech. Two by fours, two foot, two and I'm proud of it, two foot on center, but as you can see, there's so many openings that it causes the framing to be even closer together than two foot. Like right here. That's about eight inches, eighteen. 16, 12, then 2 foot, then 12. Way more than stuff that you need. And you don't need to be out of steel to make sure it's strong. It doesn't need to be made out of steel. I love steel. I think the concept is awesome. But unless you want to go to outer space, you don't need steel. Okay? Or unless you want the same to tumble and you want it to be just the steel left over and all the sheeting gone, that would be great. We have found... I would go steel, I would go sips, I would go with the aluminum on the inside and outside, interlock, lightweight. We would thought of all that. I've built a lightweight home that's under 4,000 pounds. I just don't think that's the route to go. I would do it, we'll still do it. This gives us so much creativity. We can build it. If the owner says, hey, change that out, I can change that in little, little 30 minutes. I can have another window put in or out. When it comes to steel, you can't do that. Okay? You can, anything's possible, but it's more costly. In structure, you don't need it. You don't need it. After we get through doing all that we're doing, think about it. A home, a complete home is built with big rafters, a second story, massive, you know, 26 foot wide, 30, 40 foot wide homes. It's, the, the structure that goes down, the weight that forces down on a two by four is so much more immense. This is only eight foot. Take a camper. Remember the one I shot an arrow through? The wall is a two by two. That's half of that. They've been building campers for 80 years on two by twos. Why do we have to build tiny homes out of steel? Why? Why do they gotta have this concept? It's because they're trying to sell that niche. Hats off to them. Perfect. I think it's great. Sell your niche. That's what I'm selling. My niche is cost is low. Renewable as resource, that's something to be redone. And 80 years from now, once somebody wants to tear this down, they can reuse the wood, the plywood, the flooring, and the trailer, everything. Right? God, I'm yelling. What's wrong with me? All right, let's go. Come here. Let me show Roman. This is Roman's house. Hey. What? Travis said, to the moon, Alice. To the moon? To the moon. To who? You know, where you want to knock Amanda sometimes? Oh, yeah, to the moon. <laughs> it's a pain. Hey, let me see if I can do a light. Oh, Roma's on here. Say hi. Say hi we got power in here. Yeah, turn the lights on. What do you got? Look what? here. All right, look. I'm looking. This is what we did. Put a cat door underneath here, right? For cat litter box goes in here. And we got an exhaust fan that'll blow the cat fumes. No. Let me put that. that doesn't look good. Now listen, I haven't been here. They've been, they've been cleaning all day and getting this ready. Okay? Now, this is 24 foot long. Her stairs, it's right here. That's her stair. She's good to go. Slide it back, right? Slide that back there. You have a drawer. Storage, storage, storage. All under here. This will be a refrigerator. This is a 10 cubic foot cubic uh, refrigerator from Lowe's. This is a drop-in sink that she had. Nickel faucet. Kind of knock the noise out. Um, these are cabinets built by uh, Josh Hertz Hertzler. Yep. Josh is an awesome cabinet maker. We love all he's doing. And she actually wanted this cabinet. 
as the grain of the wood. As you can see, this was one solid wood, and he made the doors out of that. Isn't that kiwi, isn't that awesome? Look at that, man. She picked out her handles, and she sent them to us. This is her gas range. will be here. We'll put her gas range here. Three more drawers. Or four. Look at that guy. One, two, three. The biggest thing I want to show you down here, come on in here. All right, of course, the tub. We've all seen me get in the tub, right? Let me turn, turn the fan off. What I want to show is Carol, that works in our shop now, has built all these window frames. See that window sill? Carol built it. Carol did not know any carpentry. What has she been here? Six weeks? Maybe two months. Maybe. She has now, I want to show you this cabinet. She built this cabinet that goes right here for Roma. Well, this is the homeowner of Roma. I want to show you, look, can you guys see how close tolerance? Look how straight that is at the top. You see that? This is built out of scrap lumber. Tolerance straight. I was really impressed today. Look, now look. Look, doesn't doesn't catch nothing. All right, guys out there in La La Carpentry Land, look at this. She built this. And then we'll put a clothes rack across the top. We Z brace these to hold the boards together. All right, this is just this. this you don't ever have to do these from building like Josh, too. I love it. I think she did an excellent job. Look on the side right here. Isn't that neat? All the beads on here. I mean, look at the reveal. Everything's just nice and neat, you know? This is a butcher block on top. This is a washer and dryer underneath there. And of course, you got your compost and the homeowner sent that vanity right there. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna pull this out. I'm gonna walk up the stairs. Everybody, here we go. You can stop here, sit down, you can go here. We have it here is because we have a refrigerator underneath, right? Cool. Here in the middle, it's still tuning in. Here's your windows. These are hopper windows. We get them from Lowe's, our windows. That's an egress. So when we have a loft, we have an egress. That's to get you out of here, all right, in case of a fire. We're also going to start putting a fire suppressant system. It's a powder that blows down. It mounts right on the ceiling, so there'll be a box in every home we build now, fire suppressant. The reason we're doing that is because we want your local um, inspectors, that when you go take one to our home somewhere, they know that that thing is safe. We try to take an egress, either we're putting a water sprinkler, I like the powder suppression, suppressant. Steve, I think Steve out of uh, southern, let's see, southwest uh, United States, Steve, if you're watching, he called me about a water, uh, it was a, uh, a sprinkler system, a sprinkler head. We had been thinking about that because time had gotten away and we just got busy and I just didn't think about it anymore. And Steve called and said, hey, safety's my thing. Can you guys start adding the sprinkler system? And if you do, hey, just give me a shout out. And Steve, I am, we're gonna give you a shout out and we thank you for your interest in what we do and we wanna make our home safe. So if we have a powder suppressant and maybe a sprinkler system, why not? It doesn't cost that much to do it. And if we're not doing it in the industry, Kind of shame on us because it's real simple. What? God, let's go. Huey said you might need a bigger fridge. Who, me? Huey said you might need a bigger fridge. Why do I need a bigger fridge? He called me fat? Yes, Randy, that was it. I don't know why I gotta have a bigger fridge. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I. Oh, Victoria said the co your coffee's here. All right, watch that step. I know, it's a doozy. Sponge oh, breaking. All right, oh, go, let's go to uh, Joe. Let's go. Joe is, is this an 18-footer? Yes. All right, 18-footer. See the picture window? Point there, look at that tub. Isn't that cool? All right, this here is a 110 plug. Now look. This is 110 volt, not 220. You see running everything in that house, right here. You don't need a 30 amp, you don't need a 50 amp. That whole house will run with that right there. If we put a 110 uh, mini split, a Pioneer mini split is 110 volts, 
you can still run off a 110. If you're off grid, our off grid is 220. Now I don't know if you guys know what 110 and 220 is, but if you run a 220 heating system, it's it's more efficient. And Mitsubishi, which we sell Mitsubishi, they're great to have. But you'll need a fatter cord, and I'll show you one of them. And you'll have just you can't plug it into the regular three prong household outlet. Okay, this is our water system. You guys see me jump around in the tank if you're not if you haven't seen our other videos but i was inside a water tank to get it all nasty had almond milk and everything they've ran that whole system the water's pure and clean now it's all done it was the the milk was in that tank that it turned black and stunk now it's pure again isn't that awesome that's this system we have three granulated charcoal filters up here we have the space age uh, incredible water system right here that's the filter. This, this is the Mac Daddy that does it all. All right, a two pump system. We had fabricated this and ran it and ran it. We'll show you the whole system and how it works. But this is put together. Isn't that nice? Walls, it's all insulated. We have a plug, we have a water heater, everything's inside. You can stick your head in and help show the water here. Right up here, that's your tankless Eco Temp water heater. Okay, gas line will be hooked up tomorrow. Um, you got an outside spigot. This is a frost-free outside spigot right here. Your gas lines are stove. And then we've got um, our water lines, our cutoffs. This here is your conduit. Goes to your panel box. Be plugged in for that big cord that I just showed you. Okay, and here's all your breakers right here. But what I love is these right here. Look at, look at all this. You've got your electric. This is all waterproof. You push it in and screw it on, okay? This is your in and out for your water system. And this is for your water if you want city water. And you go to a, a RV, so you can be on grid, off grid, RV, and then completely out on your own by yourself, using, using the water reclamation and the solar. And it's loud in here. Any questions? Did you get the water test results back? No, I didn't. No, damn, it's just running. How often do you need to change the filters? Well, what happens is if you ever use the filter, what happens is the water level will start to reduce, okay? So the pressure, because there's so much debris inside the filters, and that's what, so when your water goes down and it's starting to slow in your faucet, then you'll change them out. We're, we're getting a good deal on them, and we're going to give them supply, and we can actually send them to you also. Uh, the ultraviolet ozone filter, I mean, it's, you don't change that. It's just amazing. You know, it changes out the bulb, but it's, it, uh, another insulated storage bin inside Joe's. That's our water system right there. That's for your rainwater. This is called the first flush. What happens, there's a tennis ball right there. The water comes off the roof, fills that cylinder, and pushes that ball up. So like an upside down funnel. It touches that funnel, and now the water inside keeps that ball right there, so all the debris, the first flush of the roof, any debris is on there. And then the ball holds it, and then it tees off, and comes out that spout. That will come out and go into your, your holding tank, and that's that big black holding tank right there, which will hold that five hundred Think about it. I know it's a big tank, and it looks too big to have, but if you're off-grid and it doesn't rain for two solid months, tell me, that water reclamation is so important. Joe got it, Roma got it, I think we've sold eight or nine systems already, and I think about on our property, every house will have a tank, all right? It's important to have that, and then when it rains, it, it got fresh water supply. This is cedar siding. This right here was cedar that we had reclaimed. That whole pile of thousands of feet we have. We go back here and we dig through it. Actually, Joe was here, the homeowner was here, and he dug through and picked out his tree. Let's see, you get a good light. It has been working here today. Right. I want everybody to see this. This is a custom home. It's 18 foot long. I love giving 
uh, credit where credit's due. The idea of Anna White and Pretty never sees what we do. That's fine. Her and her husband, I guess, come up with, you know, that elevated bed. Everybody talked about oh, that's a great idea. So we've taken that and did it a little different. Uh, the homeowner, I believe, brought this, he brought the, the uh, motor for it. We're going to build a frame. <clears throat> it was up and down. Very simple. The homeowner got the bark. Isn't that gorgeous? That's, that's poplar bark out of North Carolina. These right here. This is a bark wall. Can you guys see it good? And it's square, so it comes in squares, and then we laid it like brick on the wall. That's, and then we actually trimmed out the window, excuse me, trimmed out the window with bark. Nice, isn't it? All right, he has his steps that he wanted, so he can go up. That's a ship's ladder. Joe, if you're watching, just wanted to show your house. Just about done. Okay. He wanted it cantilevered out a little bit. We put a piece of trim across the front. This is a ship's ladder. I've never been up this thing yet. This is a big block. I believe it's eight foot deep. Eight foot. Got our screen laying here. And he's got an egress window. Can you see the egress? All right. Got the egress window up here. We try to put in every loft if the design will uh, allow it. All right? Mm -hmm. That's comfortable. Ship's ladder is in between the stairs and the ladder. So he picked out this picture window. We ordered that for him. Here you got your hopper. This is all his design. I think it's really cool. He's got this little window I thought was really cool right here by his sink. Go get all this stuff there. Then you got easy stairs. And they go back, and now they're out of the way. Is that not sweet? And his whole bed will come up and down. So now when his bed's up, he can have a sofa under here and leave it. So he's got a full living room, right? And a full bedroom that comes up and down. Awesome. And then a big old loft. So look, look, in a six, 18 footer, we got a full living room. I can't get in here, we'll, we clean out next time. We'll have a full living room in here, watch TV, whatever you wanna do. Full bed up here, kitchen. Now he's gotta have, he's gonna have a stove, countertop here, uh, washing machine, got a washing machine in here. And then, here. I can't remember where that key's at. I think it, I think it's in the bathroom over there at that warehouse. All right. And right here, washing machine, refrigerator, closet with a rack. So he can put clothes in here. All right. So we'll put a little rack in here, put a door. So he's got clothes, a drawer underneath the washer and dryer. So we've got a drawer under here, right? Washer and dryer, refrigerator closet, kitchen, living room, bedroom, bedroom, and in here, look here, blind you. Here goes the retina, whoop, in a bathroom that I've disappeared in, look. So now we've got compost toilet, you got your sink, and this, shower, 36 inch shower. Wow, this is nice when you really think about it, you know? It's just a design. One of 84 we've done, completely different. Never done one like this before. Great job, Joe. He's, he's been in the building industry for a long time. He designed this. You know, I think it's really sweet. Re reclaimed lumber here. This loft is really high. It could have been brought down. It's great. I like it because it feels bigger in here. This is probably not going to be his primary loft because he's got a bed in the living room right there. Hey, Randy. What? Regina says she wants a new house. Who? Regina. She wants a she new house. She wants one like Roma. And Nina Ice wants to know, could you put a railing on the ship's ladder? I knew somebody's going to ask me that. Oh, yeah. Yes. And then Nancy that I believe is here today. Yeah. Uh, wants to know about the solar panels and how to move them when you want to be mobile. Okay, if you want to move them, because we're, we're saying 
We used to put them on the roof all the time. If you can't climb the roof and clean them and maintain them and take care of them, they need to be on the ground. So we're making it to where they're all on the ground and you got these little racks you put them on. So if you're getting ready to move, you go out, you unplug them, and they're not heavy, and you stack them in the house, or on, probably usually on the vehicle. You just stack them up on your vehicle. There's only 10 of them. You stack them on top of each other. Then when you, then you roll up your wire. When you get, you roll them back out and you lay them out. That's what you do. Okay? You can put them on the roof. They're so much more efficient on the ground. And Jen wants to know where her trailer is. Who? Jen. Jen. For the workshop? Right here. We already showed her. I know. She just came in. Okay, Jen. We're going to show you your house again. That's the boy framing out here. Come on. We'll go by and see Jen. You all right? Yeah. Jen, that's you right here. <laughs> that's yours. We're framing it. Now, all the windows aren't cut out yet. We're putting the roof on as you can see. So we're cut out the windows and go. That's it. Isn't that cool? We'll be building on it tomorrow. It's Thursday, Friday. And then, uh, what? What's the question? Uh, it's not a question. Amanda said she couldn't remember either. She even looked in the toilet and there was no key, so she's going home to watch the Golden Girls. I need the grass mow. All right. Let's go where we can talk. Let's finish up. Thanks, okay. everybody. This is our workshop. Hey, let me count how many ones we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got ten homes in here, and then we've got. trailer in here. Yeah. This is our water system here. This is the one we've been playing with and experimenting with. And that's what we showed you the other night. The filters and everything. That's John. John who works here. He's the brainchild of that. I just had the idea and he put it together for me. And uh, I think it's going to be a great system. Yep. All right, let's go. Want to finish up? Is there any questions we need? I got a. You know, I had a couple of things I wanted to go over. Make sure I didn't forget anything. See, this is reclaimed lumber. See how it's dark? It's actually been outside for a long time. And it just discolored it. But it's still good. It's not rotten. See? It's not rotten. We have had... What? Can't hear? What? What's wrong with her? God. <laughs> hey. Well, we've had a lot of people wanting to come at our, at our uh, community and stay. It's $200 a month. All right, so what it is, it is self-governing community. Right now, I think we have 34 lots in the main part of our, of our area. Then we're gonna go up in elevation later on and open up maybe that more again. I don't really know yet. But it's $200 a month, $1,200 deposit. So if you give me 1,200 bucks, that gives you six free months to pay back, here, five, six, six to pay back your 1200 bucks. So if you give me $1,200, I use that money to keep cutting the roads and amenities, and, in, and then as soon as you move in, you got six months to move in. So tonight, I want to come to your community, Randy. Send me $1,200, all right? You got six months to get your home here, and when you get here, you got six months of free rent to pay back your 1200 bucks, right? Does that make sense? So you don't make another payment for a year, all right, until you actually move in. So if you're even thinking about it, Give us a call. I've got the, the, uh, the plat in here. We can show you the plat. We're going to put that on our website you can choose from. We're actually looking into Arizona. It's about 13 miles from the border south of Tucson. We're looking at a place. We're looking into a place in Northern California. I'd love to get a place in, in um, <clears throat> L.A. We got some folks that live in L.A. And uh, I don't know if that's even possible. I'm trying to get hold of some realtors in that area. 
And then we, that's, this is our vision. This is our, our vision is to give communities all over the United States, okay? So that's how it works. $200 a month across the board. I was going to raise $300 a month along the creek, but I'm not. That's $200 a month too. The reason is there's a little road right there and it's a little busy. It can be busy in the morning and the evenings and that's it. Rush hour, people going home. Other than that, um, the back lots may be a little bit private. So like, I, everything's got their pros and cons, all right? Question, Lisa? No? All right, so that's our that's our um, our community that we have. Our jamboree, of course, I wanted to tell you about has nothing to do with the Arlington, Texas jamboree. We have our own jamboree, and uh, you can buy tickets online. It's twenty bucks for all three days: Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're building a tiny home and giving it away. Who's building a tiny home? I bet they're not even building one down in Arlington and giving it away. All right, we're building it right on site because we're builders. This is a builders jamboree. This is about building tiny homes. We're building a tiny home. You can watch it being built. You can help being help it being built. And then we're going to give it away on the Sunday. This is almost like a family thing. I want you to come. I want you to feel comfortable. I want Kiwi to come. Everybody that's been here, I want you to hang out. It's not something you come and go. We'll have hopefully 10, 15 homes you can tour and talk to everybody. This is just, I'm just reiterating everything I talked about earlier. And remember, at incredible tiny homes. We stand behind our product. We stand behind what we do, all right? There's a ton of drama going on, and I'm not gonna share you, share you the drama. I've learned now that I feel so good about the people that are following us, the product that we're putting out, the people that are working here. These guys that are working here are serious. John's got a family, okay? Lily's young, she's starting out, she's learning. And we have patience with her and trying to teach her. We have Victoria, just got married. She's working here. Adam's part-time. I've got Dennis. He's got a family. Chuck's got a family. Dennis, uh, Kevin's got a family. Tom's got a big family. Three kids and a wife. You know, um, Bobby's got a family. You know, my son's working here. I got three, I got two, two high school boys and the other boy uh, is from high school. We got Carol working here. We got Alyssa. Yeah, mm -hmm. got a family. All right. This is, this is our business, this, we're serious about it. If there's anything going on, an email that didn't fix, and there's a lot of drama with all this social media. I'm, st I'm out here. You guys can see it, competitors. You guys can see what we're doing and you horse laugh what we got, I don't care. Whatever you wanna do, we're trying and we're learning. I'm coming to eat your lunch, all right? And with that, you get competition and I love competition. Let's do it. Let's see who can do the best home. Let's see who can do the best price home. Let's see who can do this. And you know what? The one thing I want the industry to stay, because the government may come in and regulate everything that we're doing. That's why I have an RVA8 certification. It's like, hey, I'm telling everybody, telling the government, hey, I want to build according to the IRC codes. I want to build to the ANSI codes. I can do that. And I've also got an architect and an engineer that'll stamp our homes for a third party better than NOAA and better than RVI and RVIA because we got professionals behind what we're doing. They're licensed architects, engineers, structural engineers that look at what we do if you want it stamped. They don't have to be stamped. But because there's no regulation, I want this industry to stay in the backyards of the people that love building tiny homes. That's the beauty of the imagination. There's so many beautiful tiny homes. When I do get a chance to look on, I'm amazed, and you guys are too, I'm sure, of seeing so many cool things. And we hope to implement all that. Just like our, our Highland home. She, oh, we can't go out and show that, it's too late. We'll go show. We're gonna be at the Decatur show. We're gonna bring you Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday. We'll show y'all the show going on. It'll be live going on. <clears throat> but I wanna just tell you that I think you guys, <clears throat> what, I'm gonna, what I wanna implement later in the company is we're gonna send you guys a kit that if you want to build it all by yourself, I'll wrap it up. We're thinking, I've wanted to do this for a couple years now since I started, is I'm going to spray paint everything like a Lego and put it together. And you read directions and watch our video, and you can build your own tiny home, all right, and save you even more money. So that's what we're trying to do. Maybe offer that after the first year, the spring of next year is what we're thinking about doing on that. Is there any questions tonight? Anybody got any questions for me? I'd love to answer them for you. Do you have any on-grid uh, sites at the community? Yes. Okay. On-grid, it'll be, we're, we're running a little electricity out there. So we're gonna have, and I don't know how many I'm gonna have yet. So 
Uh, I will let you know more, but yes. Oh, good. I think that's it. Hey, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Share this video if you could. Go to our YouTube channel, subscribe. If we get 100,000 subscribers, I'll build a house and give it away then too, okay? It's a promotional. We're trying to grow as a business. We'd like to just grow and be a company, <clears throat> a, a large company. We want to, and, and we, we just want to get big. We want to do, we want to be successful. We want to be successful like you are in your life and everybody else. We want to show the industry that the prices are too high and the time to build them is too long. All right, that's my name. That's what do you call it? Is it claim to fame? Yeah. yeah. All right, everybody, thank you so much. Uh, come and see us. Our our uh, factory is always open to the public, you know, and um, love to talk to you anytime. And and thank you so much. If you have any questions, any concerns, <clears throat> please send us your email at info at incredibletinyhomes.com. All right, and have a good night. And remember October 27th through the 29th, our Jamboree. In Newport. Newport, Tennessee. Newport. Now affiliated with Arlington, Texas. Is that good enough? Fire, buddy. <laughs>